What's going on YouTube? Travis Thompson here, Appalachian RC. You guys, we're not flying no planes today, but we're going to do a little short video on the T-28 uh, Trojan, the new one. The 1.2 meter with the avian in the reverse first and all that. I've been getting a lot of questions on, is it hard to do that? Is it hard to, uh, you know, program it? And, hard to set up you know the reverse thrust and I'm like no guys it's, it's very very simple I mean if I can do it you know I'm a new guy I'm, a, I'm still learning everything so if I can do it you can do it guys oh let's get everything set up here all right let's scoot this one over let's grab us a radio it needs some charge on it all right guys get her plugged up for a minute Go ahead and get the DX6 because if you have it updated, it works on it too. So, <laughs> okay. It's a battery. Let's see here. Just a little one. Get some adapter. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this part right here anyway. On the NX series, far as I far as that I know. When you plug your plane up, if you have an Avian Smart ESC that had reverse thrust and all that, you take the scroll pad in just like you're gonna look at your tail your telemetry, you scroll all the way to the right. Well see mine stops at the G force. That's because I don't have power to the plane. So make sure you got power to the plane when you try to enter that. Make sure your throttle cuts on, all that good stuff. Now watch this guys, now watch this. When you scroll over, now this is on the NX series, or NX and up, I'm sure the IX and all that, you know. Watch this guys, you scroll all the way over, now look. There's how you set up your uh, reverse thrust and all that. Your braking, everything is in that is in that little uh, window right there. And I done it by just scrolling. See, there's a screen. See, I'm gonna scroll over. You know, just take it, scroll all the way all over. Boom, there it is. But see how it says you got a low throttle. You got to put the throttle down, hold up elevator and left aileron for five to ten seconds. But it has a 30 second timeout, so it's probably done timed out. So I'm probably going to have to unplug the battery and plug it back up, then try it. Yep, see it ain't doing it. And I'm hoping. So, in that case, if it don't work, unplug your battery, plug it back up. Let it go through its little cycle there. Now watch this, guys. Now I'm going to hold down and left. Now, now watch this. It'll tell you the next step. Oh, my bad, guys. You got to be in high rates. Make sure you're in high rates. See, that's why it went doing high rates and safe off in order to be able to do that. It has to be 100% throws for it to work. I forgot about that, too. Now, see, it says up elevator, right aileron. So, you go over and pull back, and then it'll kick in your menu. Now, boom. See, there we are, guys. <clears throat> see, break. And, and, and you work out like this, left and right, up and down. Up and down controls it. See the little arrow? Now it says brake top. And I'm going down, brake force. All you do is you go up or down to do that. Now to select it, you got to go left or right. So watch this. Brake top. Now what I'm, on, I'm just going to go right. See normal, proportional, reverse. And that's what you want. Then you go down one, and that takes you to your brake force. And from what I gather, seven is what it's supposed to be on. Then you go down again. That's at the bottom. Go down again. You're gonna go down another one, another one, another one. Don't you don't have to mess with none of that, guys. Look. Go down another one. Now see you're still all that, see and, and see that motor rotation? So if your motor was actually spinning backwards you could fix it right there, but it's supposed to be it's it's spinning right, so 
keep going on down, keep down. Now here we go. See right there, thrust reversed. This is your channel. See, I'm going right. Now it's going to go back down to channel five. See, go right again, channel six, right again, channel seven, right again, channel eight. And that's why I have mine on, because, you know, I have safe and tra retracts and flaps and all that, so I'm using channel 8. Then after you do all that, go down 1, and see it says exit with save. When you go down to that, go over 1. Now listen. Now it's going to reboot. Now guys, what's this now? Try to do this in a safe way. There's my forward now. I'm just going to flip it. Watch this, guys. And there's the reverse. You can see the brake, it stopped. Now look. Oh, the battery. But there's forward. <laughs> yeah, the battery's like completely dead almost. But anyway, that's how you do it, guys. And, as far as that goes, on this on a DX6E. It has, you have to have the updated firmware in it from what I gather. So you can scroll over. See, I don't have nothing plugged up, but when you scroll over on this, there is nothing. What you do, you want to go down in and go down into your telemetry. Like I said before, if this screen doesn't pop up, if that screen right here doesn't pop up on any of them, even the NX or the DX series, if this right here doesn't pop up when you when you go out of it, it ain't gonna let me go out of it. Yeah, there it is. See, if y'all remember, it's just in your regular screen. Just scroll over, like you're gonna look at your telemetry. See, there's my telemetry, battery, and all that. Just keep scrolling over to the right, and that'll be the end page, the Avian program. And if that's not on there, then more than likely it won't be on here on the DX6E. But go down just like if I bounce this up with this plane I can go to auto configuration just like that and let it do its thing which this ain't hooked up to nothing but anyway after you do that on the DX6E that'll pop up but it'll be on this one but the only bad thing about that is it's just a six channel guys you have to give up the flaps you have to give up the retracts you have to give up something in order to have the reverse thrust. When I was using the DX6E on this, I left my gear down and just tested the reverse thrust out like that, you know, use the gear channel. I just let unplug the gear and left it down, but I had safe on my flaps. So I still had safe, but I had to activate on my flaps. But now with this, you know, it's <laughs> safe on the channel, reverse thrust is on the channel, gears on the channel, flaps is on the channel. And you know, it just makes it so much simpler, but Ooh, I don't know if you guys just heard that, but man, it's doing some thundering. Man. But yeah, guys, we'll go back through that one more time, I guess. What you do, if you have an NX radio or an IX, any of that, when you have a compatible Avian Smart ESC and all that, as soon as you turn your radio on, when you scroll over, there's how you do your reverse thrust. Just scroll all the way over. Do you see Avian program? And like I said, let's do it. I go, I go through it one more time with y'all. And if you can't, and if you pull your sticks down, you know, elevator up and sticks to the left and ain't doing nothing, it's cause it's timed out. Unplug the battery, plug it back up just like I did. That's what I just did. You know, let it go through its thing. Make sure your throttle cuts on. Make sure you're out of safe. You got to be out of safe, and you got to be in high rates for it to work. You know, see it? Low throttle all the way, up elevator, left aileron, which is down in the corner. And now this should say right in a second. Now see it says right, so you do the opposite. You go over to the right. And then it'll take you into the programming menu, and there you are. And see, so you can fix it between, um, see, that's fixed wing, see, Healy, style. I mean, you got everything. You want to be on fixed wing for this. And when you go down to your brake, you won't reverse. And when you go down to brake force, you want seven. Cut off type, don't mess with. I haven't anyway. Don't mess with the cells. 
cut off voltage. I ain't messing with BC. I'm not messing with startup time. I don't mess with timing. I don't mess with motor rotation. I don't mess with none of this. Just keep just just keep pushing down. Like just go down, and it'll take you to there. And then you'll see thrust reversed channel, and that's how you pick your channel. You go left or right. Left or right on your stick. See that's on channel eight. Now it's on channel seven, but yeah, that's how you do it. But be sure when you get done, if you back out of that, it will not save it. You got to go down to exit and save, and then go over to the right, and then hit'll reboot. You can hear it. And there you go. And the same step is on the DX6E with upgraded firmware. It, it, it is the same thing. But if you do not have that screen, when you scroll over to the right, if you do not have that screen, that AVN programming window that pops up, if it does it on the NX8 or the NX10 or the IX, whatever, same thing. If it does it on the DX6, you don't have that window, go down to telemetry, auto programming, and let it auto program it. And then when you go out of that, when you go into your home screen, when you scroll over, it should be there. Now remember, if you go down and sit there and hold it and it don't tell you to go to the right and do all that, it's because it's timed out. Just unplug your battery for, you know, two or three seconds. Plug it back in, let it go through its motions. And then, you know, four or five seconds after you plug it up, do your, do the, you know, do your thing over and over and then it'll get you in the menu. So I'm not that good of a teacher, guys, but, you know, I try, I guess. But <laughs> That's the best way I know how to explain it, you know, and I'm a beginner, so, I mean, and uh, that's actually the only one I've got reverse thrust on, I think, I don't think, the Viper don't have it, I know this don't have it, the High Boo don't have it, and I know none of them has it. That has got, we can program the ESC, but I don't know if it's got reverse thrust, but, yeah, anyway, guys, that's the, uh, that's how you do it on the DX6E. Or the NX series, or the IX series, or all that stuff. I'm really not for sure about the IXs, but I know, you know, I know the NXs because you know it just, I just showed you how to do it. I ain't never had an IX, so. But uh, I hope that helped you all out. But anyway, guys, ECS pro or AVN ESC programming for reverse thrust. There it is. There you guys have it. So. I hope I helped y'all out. I hope y'all that helps y'all get you where you need to be. If not, if you're confused or whatever, holler at me and we'll try to do it again, you know. Let's see if we can't make another video on explaining it a little different ways or whatever. But there you guys have it. I hope y'all having a good evening. Until we do it again, guys, say flying God bless. Bye bye bye. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Forgot. <laughs> bye bye.